In this video, I'll show you how to synchronize your audio and video using Filmora. Now, if you are making videos, there will be times when you are recording your audio and your video separately, like what I'm doing right now. Now, it could be that you are using a microphone closer to the subject, or maybe you are using a two camera or three, multiple camera setup, and your cameras have audio from one main source. So how do you synchronize that? I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, in this video, I will show you how to do it in Filmora X. If you use other software like Shortcut or Heathflip Express, I have links in the description below. I've actually created uh, two different videos on how to synchronize the audio in those software. If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I help you to leverage tech so that you can create greater impact. So let's dive into the stream and uh, show you how to do that. Now, the first thing that you want to do is actually to bring your video clip on to the timeline. So this is what I will do. I will just bring it on to the timeline. And here you can actually see that there are waveforms. Now to see the waveforms better, you can actually adjust the video height to make it larger. So I'm just going to do it to big. So you can actually see that. And uh, let's scroll down. So now you can actually see the waveforms very well. Next, I'm going to drop the audio onto the audio timeline. As you can see, the waveforms are huge as well. So it makes uh, synchronizing this so much easier. However, you still need to adjust it some more because uh, they will still be out of sync. So let's try to do this. Now you can notice that at, for this video here, uh, there is some uh, initial sound at the beginning. So you notice that this is where all the quiet sound and this is where the audio starts. Now usually what I do is I would actually clap to make a mark so that I can sing this much easier. However, in this case, I kind of forgot and uh, it happens even to the best of us, All right? So what you want to do now is actually to uh, drag the clips uh, slowly to match it. And uh, there are two tips I want to share right here. So the first thing that you want to do is to right click anywhere on your timeline and make sure that this enable timeline stop is disabled. If you enable it, uh, it will be harder to uh, adjust this uh, clips because it tends to uh, want to snap to into position like what you see at the beginning over here right it snaps right there so if you do that if you disable it it will allow you to uh, nudge those video clips much easier and the next tip i want to share is actually you can actually zoom in into the timeline so that it is much easier to see right so uh, now you can see that this is where uh, this waveform begins now the waveforms won't be exactly the same, especially if you have edited your audio and this is what these waveforms looks like. However, you can see that you can actually see the pattern over here. Okay. Now I'm going to trim this uh, clip first uh, so that I have some space and it makes for easier uh, to uh, nudge the clip. All right. And what I like to do is actually I would like to look for a peak rather than look for the bottom because it is actually much easier to see the peak. All right, so I'm just going to move the clip here. So very likely the peak will correspond to somewhere here. And once you kind of have it uh, almost there, what you want to do next is to take a listen to it. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you want to ensure that there is uh, no echo. In this video, I'll show you how to synchronize. So in this case, there is a very slight echo. Okay, we can actually try to uh, correct it a bit more. Uh, I, however, you can see that here, most likely it is about one frame uh, off. Okay, so we're gonna correct it a bit more. Nudge it a little bit further. Okay, so Femora sometimes if you zoom in too uh, uh, close, it's uh, kind of hard to nudge it. Okay, so let's go back to this point here. See whether we can nudge the video forward. It doesn't want to move. <laughs> All right, so let's do this again. All right, so now we move a little bit too much. All right, let's take a listen again. In this video, I'll show you how to synchronize your own. Okay. So we are actually practically okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on manage tag and then adjust the track height to normal. And then uh, you can actually uh, trim off the clip right here. Okay. So I'm going to split this, uh, split the two clip and uh, delete the section that I do not want. 
I'm going to delete this. And then the other thing now is to ensure that when you edit, enable timeline snap again, so that anytime you want to move the clip, these two clips will, uh, be, will easily be matched to this starting point. Now, uh, there are some people who wants to, who kind of want to detach the audio. Now for me, I generally do not like to detach the audio and I would rather mute it, it's very simple. Muting it means that if I make a mistake or may have, let's say for example, if I have uh, split this clip and I have uh, moved it slightly out of position, I can still find back the uh, position because the audio is still there, I can match it back. So for me, I generally do not detach the audio that is from the video camera because it allows me to have kind of a backup in case I make a mistake as I edit. One final tip about synchronizing your audio and video. Now, if you have synchronized your audio and your video right at the beginning, but over time you find that your audio is slowly good getting out of sync, that could be due to using a, dif uh, a different sampling rate. Most video cameras have a sampling rate of 48 kilohertz, whereas uh, on software it could be 44.1 or even 48 or different uh, any other different sampling rates. These two sampling rates that I mentioned are just the common ones. So before you record, do check out your equipment or your software to make sure that you are recording at the right sampling rate. Otherwise, it may be almost impossible to synchronize those audio. I hope that this video has helped you with the tips. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing. It really helps my channel grow. And do check out uh, the rest of the playlist on using Filmora on the screen right now.